Hey everybody, welcome to Designing, Android, Designing Apps for Android XR. We're thrilled to be here from the XR design team, and we hope you're excited to dive into building your own XR experiences. My name is Steve Toe, and I lead XR design here at Google. In this session, we're going to be talking about designing app experiences that leverage the new dimension of Android XR where you'll be able to use familiar tools to create immersive experiences, whether you develop for Android or with Unity. To give you a better sense of XR experiences on the platform, here are a few examples that we're really excited about. With Google Photos, you can browse your memories without the limitation of screen edges and relive those moments spatially, like you were there again. You can spatialize any photo or video that you've taken in the past on any camera and view them immersively in a stereoscopic experience. With Google Maps, you can still search and discover points of interest throughout the world in a way that you know and love. We now offer immersive view in XR, which opens up a new dimension in map exploration. Soar high above skylines, dive into neighborhoods, and even see things at street level with Street View. For VR games like Dimensional Double Shift and Vacation Simulator, you're not just holding a controller. You're using your hands to interact with the virtual world. Reach out and grab objects, solve puzzles, and explore expansive environments, all with the natural movement of your hands. With Android XR, you can design fully immersive gaming experiences. With Search, you can explore a vast library of 3D models, like this flying golden eagle, and experience them as if they were right there next to you. This brings 3D content to life at a one-to-one -one physical scale and makes learning more memorable than ever before. Now, what are the foundations of a compelling XR experience? When designing Android XR and our own Google Apps, we focused on four key considerations. One, leverage our adaptive and infinite display capabilities. Two, find key moments to wow users with immersive experiences. Three, prioritize user comfort. And four, design with familiar patterns. First, take advantage of the adaptive infinite display. Unlike traditional screens, there are no screen edges in Android XR. The screen is a space around you, and you can display UI and content anywhere. Your XR display seamlessly integrates with your physical space. Content adapts to your position and perspective, and experiences can extend all around you. Second, highlight immersive experiences. As you design for XR, find opportunities in the user journey where immersive experiences can create the most valuable and engaging moments. For example, let's say you want to create a deeper level of engagement and immersiveness to, in your app. Try integrating interactive 3D models to elevate educational experiences or showcase products. Third, keep comfort in mind. In XR, comfort is essential. Remember, you're designing for users that can look and move in any direction. Place important UI in the user's field of view and at a comfortable distance. Immersion is a powerful tool, but it can also be overwhelming. In highly dynamic environments, consider using techniques to prevent motion sickness, such as temporarily limiting peripheral vision during movement like here in Maps. And fourth, Android XR builds from the familiar. Our platform leverages established best practices and patterns from material design and Android large screens. Familiar patterns can also be taken from gaming experiences, where you can design real-time 3D interactions with a virtual world. These are the considerations we use to design Android XR and our Google Apps. And we believe they are a great foundation for your own app experiences. 
Now, I'm gonna hand things over to Mariani, who will dive deeper into the Android XR system experience. Thank you, Steve. Hi, I'm Mariani Abreu, and I lead the XI Interaction Design Team. The Android XR system uses familiar interaction models, just like those in mobile, so it's easy to use. It includes common Android patterns like the app tray, the back stack, recent apps, and more. While traditional UI design is limited to flat screens, XR design offers a new dimension of creative freedom. That's why, when designing our system, we prioritize natural interactions. We are so excited to introduce interaction uh, like uh, natural inputs to Android. Users can now interact with the apps using hands, head, eye movements. Voice interaction is also a key and is made even more powerful with Gemini. We recognize that natural input can feel very personal and people have different preferences. To ensure a comfortable and intuitive experience for everybody, we added auto detect, a feature that allows users to easily switch between hands and eye tracking. And not only that, users can also use their favorite keyboard, mouse, or controller. As you can see, we have a multimodal input system. And the best part, the system handles the input for you. So we can focus on designing a great app experience. Now let's get into how the user will interact with your app. On Android XR, the user can experience your app in two spaces, home space and full space. In home space, the app coexists alongside other apps. Any Android app especially those optimized for large screens, can thrive in this space without any extra design or development effort. Now, in full space, the app takes center stage while all the apps are optimized and minimized. This allows you to fully utilize capabilities of XR, incorporating elements such as spatial panels, 3D content, and customized environments. When the user opens your app with the launcher, it opens directly in home space. Or you can also change that default and design your app to open directly in full space. Users have the freedom to arrange their digital content in a way that feels natural and intuitive. They can move apps around in the space, creating a personalized and dynamic environment. With the same affordances, they can also resize the app windows. Additionally, to help the user to navigate this system, we created the gesture navigation. The gesture na navigation menu gives the users access to the launcher, to the back button, and also to the recent apps. Now that you better understand how the Android XR system works, I will pass to Jesse, who's going to talk about how to design spatial Android apps. Thanks, Mari. Hi, I'm Jesse Sun. I'm here to share some key design considerations that will help you craft an amazing user experience for Android spatial apps with Jetpack XR. We have a whole suite of tools to help you build your Android XR app. These include Jetpack Compose for XR for spatial UI layout, Material Design for XR for adapting components and layout to XR, Jetpack Sync Core for 3D content, and AR Core for advanced perception capabilities. Now, I'll dive a little deeper into the foundations of spatial app and how they behave. Home space is where users can multitask with multiple apps running at the same time. Each app opens as a flat 2D UI. If your app is optimized for large screen, it will automatically adapt to home space. Android XR allows for your app to seamlessly transition between home space and full space. Now every aspect of your app needs to be spatial or immersive. 
Focus on one to two key moments in your user journey where a fully spatial experience will have the most impact and deliver the greatest value to your users. Add visual cues to show users how to enter and exit. In this photos example, we've added visual entry points and exit points to take users between spaces. Full space is where you can break free from the constraints of a traditional screen. Your app has control over the entire space, and your user is able to fully focus on the experience you've created. You also have more design capabilities to spatialize your app. You can use spatial UI to place content in users' physical or virtual environment. You can break out navigation or action bar into orbiters to give more space to your content. And you can add spatial elevations to your components. Additionally, you can also add spatial audio using Syncore APIs to further the immersive experience. 3D content are digital objects rendered with depth and volume. In full space, you can add 3D content to increase your absence of realism and spatial experience. In this example, users can search for a golden eagle with Google search and see this magnificent creature with a seven foot wingspan show up in your own living room. Seeing this up close and in full 3D offers a more memorable and engaging experience than viewing a flat 2D photo. To start integrating 3D content into your experiences, Android XR supports GLTF files with Syncore APIs and Sync Viewer. In full space, you are able to override users' default environment with an immersive virtual space. Spatial environment in full space are non-interactable, but allows for users to feel a deeper level sense of immersion. For example, the user feels like they're watching movies in a home theater with Google TV. When designing your spatial Android app, you don't have to start from scratch. You can follow familiar Android patterns and foundational principles. Android XR is designed to adapt mobile and large screen layout and automatically scale UI elements for optimal interactions in XR. While apps developed for large screen adapts best, you can easily bring any Android app to XR. Let's get into some specific recommendations you can use to design a comfortable experience. It's best to position primary content in the most comfortable area, centered in front of the user with a horizontal FOV of 41 degrees. Otherwise, if the UI panel is too large, users may get fatigued quickly if they're having to move their heads too often. Android XR is designed to automatically adjust the UI size based on the user's field of view. This ensures UI elements are easy to interact with no matter how near or far your app is positioned. You should still design DP as you're familiar with, and the system will scale it in XR to keep it usable with our multimodal input. Here's a button. I'm sure we're all very familiar with it. It's a selectable UI affordance that users interact with. A larger target helps increase usability. While existing material guidelines translate to XR, we recommend a 56 DP target or larger. Android XR is designed to make it easy for all users to navigate, understand, and enjoy your app. As a developer, you can count on Android XR accessibility features to support your users. The platform will provide capability to support your app experience based on the tools that Android developers are already familiar with including live captions, color corrections and inversions, magnifications, voice to text, and more. If you're already building with material design, all supported M3 components and adaptive layout will automatically adapt to XR with just a one-line code change. You can learn more on material.io. In addition, our JPEG XR SDK will also provide custom XR components to help you spatial your UI. Learn more at, at developer.android.com slash XR. And if you want to build an app using OpenXR and Unity, my colleague Jason will cover that next. Thanks, Jesse. Uh, hi, I'm Jason. I'll be talking to you all about designing for OpenXR. 
I'll discuss when you might want to consider this development option and how best to design for it. Uh, as Jesse pointed out, Android XR spatial apps benefit from a familiar and scalable system built on Android. The beauty of OpenXR is it gives you greater flexibility to customize your experience however you like. Um, and use familiar tools like Unity to create those experiences. This flexibility can enable more game-specific mechanics and character rigging like those seen in the game Vacation Simulator by our very own uh, Alchemy Studios. Um, this flexibility can also extend to creating physics and effects-based interactions like this fun gamified input experience where users can practice hand input to pinch and drag objects around in space. And you can use unique graphic solutions like Gaussian splats to navigate 3D volumetric captures in real time, giving a photoreal exploration of interiors. With this added level of freedom, it is still important to follow the design principles the team discussed at the beginning of this presentation. Um, all of this still holds true. But also consider some additional guidance that applies to this expanded set of options. First, spatial interactions. Some of the richest interactions in XR involve the user's ability to interact directly with 3D objects in space. And using OpenXR allows you to add more custom interactions like this. It's best to design interactions based on the user's pre-existing knowledge of the world, so they intuitively know what to do. For example, the user picks up objects, inspects them, drops them, tosses them around, just like they would in real life. In OpenXR, you can also develop fully immersive virtual worlds exactly as you want. You can give users the ability to move through these virtual spaces, have animated elements within them, and change its appearance to their liking. Strive to design environments that are comfortable, functional, and take advantage of the unique capabilities of XR. As Steve pointed out earlier, when you do want to give users the ability to travel across an environment, um, implement locomotion carefully to ensure user comfort. Techniques to help reduce motion sickness can be using tunnel vision to temporarily limit the user's peripheral view, or allowing users to teleport with a quick jump to the next location. This is a great solution when you want to completely remove any interpolation between locations. In fully immersive OpenXR experiences, there's often a need for users to move around in their space. When a user needs to change their position in a physical room, design with their safety in mind. Android XR includes a safety boundary size that you can customize, depending on how much you expect the user to move around. And sound is also a powerful tool to enhance immersion and heighten emotional impact. Consider adding spatial background sound effects with ambisonics to create a rich atmosphere around them. Spatial audio is also helpful to draw attention to important UI uh, in the space. So with OpenXR, your app can include highly customized solutions with varying levels of immersion, anywhere between pass-through to full virtual reality. You have full control over what to put in a scene and how a user experiences it. For a deeper understanding, please visit developer.android.com. Thank you so much for joining our talk. <laughs>